Are right, you looking for the best deals right now that you can get on a refurbished computer from Apple's refurbished store? Let's take a look what's out there. All right, welcome back to the channel. So what we're gonna do today is, a lot of people don't even know that the Apple refurbished store exists. You can buy refurbished computers from Apple, directly from Apple, generally have the same warranty, and between you and me, I think they're actually new. <laughs> I actually do. So they're gonna be almost in pristine condition. There should be like no blemishes on them. They're gonna be almost brand new, if not brand new. I think Apple just sneaks a couple brand new ones in there just so they can sell them a little bit less. And uh, so you can pick up an Apple computer usually for a, a nice percentage off the listing price if you get it somewhere else. So what I wanna do in this video is it's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. I'm gonna go ahead and just go through the best deals as of right now. I think it's like June 2022 or something like that. But we're gonna go ahead and find out what are the best deals you can get right now from Apple's refurbished store. And again, a lot of people don't even know this store exists, so I'll show you kind of how to get to it, but I hope you can figure that out, right? <laughs> I hope so. In any case, I'm gonna go ahead and just show you what I think are the best deals and then just leave it open to discussion. Just something if you like Apple products, you like, and this is gonna be primarily gonna be Apple computers, um, MacBooks, iMacs, stuff like that. I'm not gonna do phones or anything like that. This is just for computers. But let me know what you think. Let me know if you think these are good deals or not. I actually think they are. At least these are the best ones you can get, I think, right now from their website if you're looking for an Apple computer. So without further ado, we'll get into it. I'm gonna share my screen here in a second and I'll go through everything with you and tell you why I think those are the best. All right, if you're watching this video, you probably already know that Apple has a refurbished site, but you can just type in Apple refurbished deals. It's gonna bring you to Apple's refurbished site. And uh, what it's gonna look like when you get there is gonna be refurbished Macs. You can see it here, so certified refurbished. That's what you're looking for. Now these Macs, like I just kind of you know winked a little bit earlier, I said, you know, I think they're new. They're gonna be very close to new. So you can go over here and search by the MacBook Air, the MacBook Pro, the Mac Mini. And it's gonna give you models going back a few years. And they're all gonna be, like I said, in, in almost brand new condition. You get the same warranties. So check out the Mac store refurbished. And uh, let's go. Do I have one, let me see here. One, two, three, four, five, six different uh, ones I wanna go through today, showing you the best deals that they're offering right now on you know, June 22nd. These are gonna change obviously, but, but as of right now. So the very first one I wanted to talk about was the, the worst deal, um, but it's still not bad. It's 849, it's the base metal of the MacBook Air. You can see here the M1 version. It's got only seven core GPU, that's the main difference here. So that's 849, and uh, the reason I say is I actually picked this up, if you watch my prior videos, I picked this up at Best Buy about a month and a half ago for 879 brand new. You know, obviously, I think this is gonna probably be almost new when it ships to you, but, but I got it brand new from Best Buy for 879, so this is not the best deal, but I know the pricing went up a little bit, so a lot of people can't get it for, you know, except for 999. So it's 150 bucks off. The one I would actually go with though, if I was actually gonna get the Air, I just switched it here, is this one right here. This is gonna be the M1, this has got the eight core GPU on it. And the main difference, it's, it's 1,059, so it's actually $190 off of the 1249 sticker. But the main reason to get this one is it's gonna have the 512 gigabyte SSD drive and the extra GPU core. So for this one, 190 bucks off is a pretty good deal. And these are a little bit harder to find like at Best Buy and stuff. So I would, you know, this is one that I would probably get between the two, the two errors. If we're talking about MacBooks though in general, the next one here is gonna be the MacBook Pro. And this is the other one that I found. It's gonna be basically 1099 right now. And this is gonna be a, a full $200 off. This is a better deal. So it's 1099, 200 bucks off. It's got the eight core GPU, eight core CPU. You can get it in silver, space gray, uh, I, th I think gold actually. So if we scroll down here though, again, this is the MacBook Pro. So you're gonna get a little bit better cooling on here and some other features in there that are gonna make this a little bit better performing. Um, battery life I think is a little bit better on this as well. And it's 2020. So again, if you're gonna look for a MacBook Pro, this is a good one here, 1099. All right, actually I did have one more, I, I forgot about this one. I had another MacBook Pro. This is gonna be eight cores, but basically eight core GPU, eight core CPU, they, they, those all are. And then if you scroll down, it's 1269. Well, what's the difference? Usually 1499. Well, on this one, obviously, this is the MacBook Pro, mind you. It's gonna come with 512 gigabyte SSD. So this is gonna be about the cost, or a little even a little less than you'd pick up the base model if you bought it through somewhere like Best Buy. So that's not a bad deal either right there, 1269. All right, the next one I wanted to talk about is the refurbished Mac Mini. We had just talked about this. This is a pretty good deal considering, I just showed you where you can get this for like 579 at Micro Center, brand new. 
But I mean, if you can't get to a micro center because you have to walk in and get it, um, 589 is not a bad cost. It's usually 699, you can see here. This is the base model, but it does have the eight core GPU and better cooling. Of course, it's only gonna have the 256 gigabyte SSD, but you do get the you know a lot more ports on this like we had talked about before, so that's not gonna be the issue. I mean, as far as if you need ports, this is the one to go with. So 589 is a great deal. Again, M1 Mac, everything included. So the M1 chip is, is gonna be, you know, if you want the M1 chip, this is about as cheap as you can go here. So I, I'd recommend this one. It's going to be like brand new condition. But then finally, my, my kind of number one pick of all is, again, this one right here. So it's a refurbished, supposedly. Again, it's going to be like new. 27-inch iMac, 3.1 gigahertz, 6-core Intel. We're going back to the Intel. This is the only one that's not a, a M1 chip. But it does have the 5K Retina, which is, you know, the screen is about worth 1000 or 1200 bucks just by itself. And this is the 2020 model you can see here, and it has 8 gigs of RAM, 256 SSD. Now the reason I go with this one, it's got the dedicated graphics down here if you're doing like video editing, but it's also the ease to upgrade the memory. It's got the only, it's probably the last possible one that you're going to be able to upgrade memory on. Behind this little thing here, you can you know obviously open it up and put your own memory in. So you can just load this with tons of memory. Do This is going to be good for video editing for many years to come. And it's $1529, so it's $270 off. So $1529 is a great price for you know what I classify as almost new uh, refurbished you know 27 inch iMac so I would highly recommend this one if, if you know if you don't think that the other ones are coming out soon I think that the the new I guess 30 or 32 inch ones are coming out soon but they're gonna be probably a lot more money they're probably gonna be like double this so if you have 1500 bucks to spend and you want 5k I highly recommend this one and uh, that wraps it up so these are the, the best deals as of right now let me know what you guys think all right do you agree with me or not well, everyone's got their opinion, right? Sometimes it's right, sometimes it's wrong. What are you going to do? Anyways, I think those are some of the best deals you can get right now. Again, these are computers that are going to be generally new. So when you look at them, I mean, they're going to be flawless. They're going to have very similar warranties to a new type of a new setup that you would have. So I highly recommend using this site if you can find something that you like. Just don't get something that may be a couple generations older just because the cost is a little bit lower if that's not what you want. Um, and again, if you, you know, it's, it's debatable. People debate both ways. You know, is it worth it? Is it worth the extra couple, like 150 bucks you save? Realistically though, you know, sometimes it can be because you're buying directly from Apple. You're going to get, like I said, the same kind of warranty on the system. And sometimes, you know, when you buy directly from them, they might help you a little bit more and stuff like that long term. Can't say for sure, but you never know. Um, anyways, so let me know what you think in the comments. Are these pretty good deals? Do you recommend, would you recommend these? Would you buy something like this? Or do you think you just buy something brand new from Best Buy or something like that? You know, I always recommend, and you've seen some of my other videos, I recommend helping some of the, the brick and mortar stores out. So I'm not, you know, it's sometimes I say buying directly from Apple may not be the best thing. If you have small stores around or at least stores that, you know, people are working at in your local population and you got to spend just a touch more, sometimes it's better to pick them up there if you can. So anyways, just wanted to share this video, quick video. And, uh, you know, again, check out my channel, subscribe if you can, 300 and something videos. We'll talk to you soon. Peace.